So President Trump did outline his merit-based immigration plan today. Some new requirements there for people entering the United States. Let's take a, a listen. Future immigrants will be required to learn English and to pass a civics exam prior to admission. That seems to be getting a fair amount of attention as Thomas Homan joins us, the former ICE director, and uh, he's also a Fox News contributor. So it's good to see you, sir. And on that part of it, uh, requiring immigrants to speak English and pass a, a civics exam, but in particular the English speaking requirement, do you believe that is necessary? And if so, why? Why does that need to be part of a, of a plan? Well, I think, look, what I, what I, I was, went to the White House yesterday. I was briefed by senior administrative officials on this entire plan. I like this plan. I think it's a great place to start discussions up on the Hill. Look, I think what they're doing is they're looking at who, who enters this country through the legal system. They're making those who want to enter legally. Uh, it's the easier system. And, they're, and, and one thing that's a misnomer I've heard on other shows that they've getting mm -hmm. away from the family-based visas. That is not true. They're going to stick with family-based visas on the nuclear family, mother and father, sons, daughters, that nuclear family. But the aunts and uncles and you know grandparents right. and all that, that that's that's out of the plan. They want to shift but more to merit on that on that part of it. Yes, and, right. I, and I think I think having educate at you know a certain educational level, having experience, to, uh, technical experience, and you know high tech jobs. I think uh, having ability to speak the English language. I mean, they're all positives, and that adds points. Now, now does the plan say if you don't speak English, you have absolutely no you know no chance getting? No, it just adds points. So those people who can speak English. Have those skills, have that education, they have an advantage on the point okay. system. So I the think point, it's the right thing to do. All right, let me bring up some of those other uh, levels as we look at the uh, the goals here, trying to get uh, the those admitted under uh, employment and skills up to 57 percent from 12 percent. That's the whole idea of being merit-based. But if you look at the merit-based uh, factors that are in play, you're talking about English proficiency as one thing, but also age, employment offers, which you brought up. So you want to have somebody offering to give you a job, educational background. So when you got the briefing there, what, what was the real emphasis at the White House? What do they think is the most important part of all of this? I think they want people to come to this country that's going to add to the development of this country. They're going to add to the economy of this country. We had economists in the briefing, very respect, well-respected economists, that mm -hmm. talked about how this new plan would raise the GDP. It would raise the tax base. It would keep and help protect American wages, help raise wages, not just for American workers, for those legal immigrants in this country. It right. also raised their wages. What I heard yesterday, I was very convinced that this is a great place to start. Now, this is a long way from being done. Right, to start a conversation. That was put a plan my, on the table. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but my final question before I let you go is that it doesn't seem as though they really want this particular plan right this minute to become law. Is that fair? That it's a conversation starter. Democrats control the House. I know operations is more your business than politics, but this is a tough one. You don't, no mention of dreamers, for example, which maybe would get Democrats to talk more. Well, I think that, again, the, the Republicans have put a plan on the table. I think this is a discussion, uh, a, right. a start. The Democrats right away, Nancy Pelosi made a statement today, that this yep. is a terrible plan. They put no options on the table. They just want to, you know, uh, distance themselves from the, a plan that's been put on the table. Let them come to the table with their ideas. Let's have a discussion. That's what this is all about. Yep. Lindsey Graham has a great plan. I hope his plan moves fast because that will shut down the loopholes, which will secure the border quicker. But this needs to happen. We need legislation. It's good to see you, sir, as always. So always appreciate your experience and analysis on this issue. Thanks a lot, Thomas Homan.